Hello there, my name's Jeff. Uh, let's take a look at some of the nice new features in AutoCAD 2024. There's a couple of features I'd like to look at here. Um, primarily, there's one here on the View tab, which is an, uh, Activity Insights. And over here in our Collaborate, we've got the markup import here from previously this uh, came into AutoCAD, but there's a few changes here that I quite like. The, the one here, as I mentioned, the one called Activity Insights is actually quite good. I, I like this for purposely from the point of view of um, uh, understanding the project, the evol evolution of the project, and really finding out who's done what and, and, and so on. So if I click on Activity Insights here, we would see this dialog come up here if, it, if we, we would set it up to do this. So I would have insights here of everything that I've been doing in this project. So for example, if I even went right down to the start here, you could see that I started a new drawing and now created it from the ISO template here. And of course, then there's the edits and so on that was going on here. It flags up that I did an external reference here, which was these external walls and so on so various edits i made some traces here published as it as a pdf and so on so that was done here um, further up another day other things were done here of course uh, various edits saves edits um, and it was saved to a new name here which was is interesting and uh, this one here this one's a very interesting concept in that this was actually something that's done outside of autocad this has done some. This has been done in the Windows Explorer. In other words, uh, it's been right-clicked on and it's edited the name and it's been renamed in Windows, not actually in AutoCAD. So it's being flagged up here that there's been a change here. I've purged, audited, and then done other edits and saved as a new name here, just just to show you the sequence of things that I've been changing. Of course, today I've got here. I've done. Uh, edited, I've made a trace uh, that I'll show you in a second now, and various edits in here. Now, these are really good, but of course, we can filter out this as, as the project gets bigger, in that I can filter out to um, all the, the time span, so all of it or anything that's just done today. So if I clicked on today, I've just got today's work there. And of course, I could have today's work for just me, or today's work for everybody and so on. Or indeed, I could have any of these, say, let's say in the last three months, I could say everything that I've done that involved uh, an audit. And I could see now that I actually did an audit on the uh, 16th of the second. So this is a really interesting concept. I do like this. And these filters here are really, uh, really good in, in that we can monitor the, the, the procession or progression of the drawing. The other one, as I just mentioned a second ago there with the collaborate is, is really good in that we, we did look at the markup import um, in the 2023 release. But if I look at my markup again here today, if I click on markup import here, I can import a, a, a PDF uh, marked up. The PDF I actually created or the trace I created was through the, the paper space here. Uh, so this was exported as a PDF and then marked up in something like Adobe and then brought back in here. So, but even here, I can bring this into my uh, model space here and I can click on my markup import here. Now, this is the PDF that I use. So this is my markup PDF here. I'll click on open here. Now, if I use this markup, even though I created it from the paper space, the intelligence is quite good now with recognizing the model space. So you, we still have the opportunity of moving a line and rotate scale, etc. If things are not quite aligning, this particular um, concept here, relatively simple. It, it was pretty good. So I'll click on accept here. If I zoom in now to see the result of this, you can see that I've got a markup that's telling me to remove these desks. And it's actually telling me to move this reception over here. 
So with the markup here, I can set the trace now and say, right, okay, let's look at what's going on here. So uh, if I trace front now, put the trace on the front, you can see that it recognizes that, for example, here is a boundary and here it recognizes that it's found some text and it says remove there. But what I really like about this now is that this, where it says text, where it says remove here, and there's some dotted lines underneath the remove. If I hover over there, the markup assistant is recognizes that that is actually a, an instruction. So if I click on here, it was going to start the erase command. So if I click there and that starts the erase command. So I'm in here to do a, a classic erase in here like this. Click on there, press enter. And then that grays out, you see. So if I now pan across here, you can see that they've removed. If I move down to the, the move, essentially there, I've got a bit of a reception desk there. It's telling me to move it down here. And exactly the same concept. If I hover over those lines underneath that little bit of text, it recognizes it as, a, a, as an instruction. So it's going to see that as the move command. So if I click on there to activate the move command, select the the object press the enter and start and end just like a normal move concept and there we go so i've just moved that over into the position there so that's good now the, classically this is still there as well so i can hover over here um, trace here the text on here so if i edit the text insert it uh, M text or something like that, I can do that. That would be actually done on the paper space. So if I close that at the moment there, you can see the result looking very good. Lastly, lastly then, there's just a couple of uh, moments here, minutes here. Let me look at um, these uh, concepts here of blocks. So just I see if I got a corner desk here, click on my door and corner desk. I put some of my blocks into a palette here. So I've got my corner block, my corner desk here. If I hover over here, of course, to place this uh, and I want it in this corner, um, you can see that it's the it's actually I need to rotate it around. So I could do that, move and rotate. But also with with this new tool here, I can hover there and you can see that it's now activate some yellow lines so these are sort of proximity lines to uh, the geometry so therefore if i move now over to this corner you can see that it recognizes those proximity lines and places the desk there i can place the desk here the same with the chair if i hover the chair here and, and i pick that hover there you can see that it picks that one if i hover over here you can see that it would actually pick up this one as well. Like that. Just took a few seconds there just to, to configure itself there. But that's really nice. I like I like that that work in there. And so once I understand that the 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 chair can be applied to the desk like that, this is really useful. So so there you go then, just a few little aspects of um, AutoCAD 2024. Um, I hope that's useful. Please get in touch. I'm a trainer here on AutoCAD, so any, any level of AutoCAD, please come and join us. And thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.